Today we're going to go through a couple days of mindfully eating and I need to go get some groceries for a recipe I want to try so I thought I would at least get some makeup on before I go. Come along as I do some shopping and ready to go. Let's go. ladies in my Facebook group sent me a link for Mediterranean meals today and I didn't know what I was gonna make for dinner tonight because I had nothing out so I'm gonna make one of them but I don't have all the ingredients so I'm going over to our grocery store oh goodness this is one of those fall days where it's just beautiful so I think it's good I'm getting out because sometimes I will spend the entire day sitting in my bedroom, which is my office, and I don't get out. And then I realize, oh my gosh, it has been a gorgeous day and I missed it. And sometime in the middle of January, <laughs> when it is blistering cold out and I have not one ounce of desire to go out into the cold, I'm going to have to. So. I need to take advantage of this time. So, here's what I need to buy. I need to get chicken thighs. We don't buy chicken thighs that much because, to be honest with you, I was steering clear of them. On Weight Watchers, chicken thighs were not zero points. Chicken breasts are, but not chicken thighs. Um, you could obviously have it on carb, cycling, or keto, but I tend to just not like it unless it's deep fried, which you could also have on keto, <laughs> which is, I think, called dirty keto. Correct me, those of you who are keto, tell me what if I'm wrong in that assumption. So I need to get chicken thighs, a red onion, cherry tomatoes, oh, stink. It says red wine vinegar, and I was going to look to see if we had red wine vinegar at home, and I forgot. I don't want to buy it again. I'm going to take a risk and not get it. So those are the main things I need to get, but we are out of blueberries and raspberries. So I want to see if those are um, looking good in the grocery store. Yay, I'm here. everything I needed. I hmm, there's something else I bought that I didn't show you guys. Oh, these. I love these things. I love these things, the scent things in my in my wash, but I hate how much they are. But these things were buy one get one and each one was five something. So I think that is a good deal. Very happy about this purchase. I did go up, go and buy this because, I don't know, Neely said to buy Greek yogurt. And I texted her while I was at the grocery store and she didn't get back to me until like literally right now she had me take a picture of the back. I think she's worried about ingredients that aren't healthy for me. So I'm waiting for her reply, but I bought it. Ah, So... 
yeah, it is what it is. I guess I could if she's like, that's the worst thing for you. Don't buy it. It's going to harm you. You'll die tomorrow. I will return it. Oh, good. Neely said it was okay. Yay. She had me take a picture of the back with the ingredients. And, I mean, it's comparable to a plain yogurt. Now, of course, it has some kind of artificial sweetener. I pick my battles on this. I don't go crazy on artificial sweeteners. Well, except for Splenda in my coffee. But everything else, like I don't drink a lot of diet sodas at all. And I would have the yogurt. I almost think that's all I do in artificial sweeteners. I'm not into zero sugar stuff. It's kind of gross to me. So I'm okay with it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut up all the broccoli. Okay. I gotta tell you, broccoli is literally one of my favorite things to eat. So in here is olive oil, oregano, pepper, salt. Just to mix it up. Oh, and garlic. It said to use fresh. No fresh in this house. Okay, it says to add the onion to this, sliced onion. So I'm just gonna break them apart because that seems reasonable. And the Brussels sprouts, but of course I'm doing broccoli. I'm probably not supposed to do all of this, so I probably need to add some things. Okay, let's toss it, get it all coated. Okay, it's just to add the no gnocchi. <laughs> okay, I definitely need to add a little bit of oil to this because it's too dry. Okay, I have way too much stuff in here. Yay! Cookie sheet. Okay, let's get things evenly dispersed. <laughs> Okay, this is saying to put the chicken in the in here. It says nestle it for 10 minutes. Like, I don't think it's going to cook in 10 minutes. I don't know. We'll see. It also says to trim it. Does trim it mean taking the skin off? Doug just said yes. I heard him in the background. <laughs> okay, so I didn't to it right of course because you know me and cooking so i was supposed to toss the chicken in with all the vegetables and stuff so i just made more stuff and rubbed it on i'm okay with that so now this is supposed to go in the oven just for 10 minutes i'm very skeptical that this will be done been in there more than 20 minutes it said to cook 10 minutes add tomatoes and then cook it for another 10. i don't know i'm gonna see if it's done Okay, there's no way this is done. I'm gonna put it in another cooking sheet because I just cut into it and it's pink in the middle. Sorry, this is not enough time. Okay, so I decided to put the chicken on the stove top and cook it because... Uh, <laughs> Hi, Doug. <laughs> because I have to have it done. I mean, this is crazy. So I put a little bit of olive in there, olive, olive oil, and cook it. So now I'm just going to eat the tomatoes and the broccoli and the, the gnocchi. <laughs> I'm never cooking something again that I struggle with how to say it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just going to eat some of this. I don't know. This is a train wreck. So it's actually pretty good. I mean... The broccoli is nice and cooked. The vegetables and the gnocchi and all that stuff tastes really good. The seasoning, you can hear the chicken cooking. The chicken's nowhere near done. I'm gonna call this recipe a win as far as the taste goes, but I think I would make the chicken maybe on the stove top separate, which kind of defeats the purpose of the sheet pan, but who cares? So it's mid-morning and if you can hear that going, I am having a cup of coffee. I had one really early, um, but I'm feeling like I need one. Now, something I put in my coffee, but I do put Splenda in and I do use half and half, but I also put in a collagen powder. It's bovine collagen. 
and the reason I do it, it's not for skin and nails, they say it's for that, but I notice a difference in my joints when I use it regularly. So I try to do at least one scoop a day. Sometimes I'll use two, but most of the time it's one scoop and I get mine off of Thrive Market because it's the most economical and they're running a sale. No, I'm not sponsored by them. They don't know I exist. <laughs> So if you're dealing with arthritis, it really does my my fingers, if you guys know, my, sorry, that's so loud. <laughs> my fingers are just so swollen all the time, Not, and they've been for years and years. And I will tell you, when I was on keto, they swelled. When I was on Weight Watchers, they swelled. So it's not really my diet. Um, and the rest of my body doesn't really ache like that. It's just really my fingers. This really does help with the inflammation. And I know some of you are gonna in the comments say all sugar and all that. I notice no difference when I eat sugar. I mean, not like if I'm eating junk food sugar, like you know, if I eat fruit and things like that or carbs, I don't notice a difference in my inflammation or anything. I will tell you my sister who has um, rheumatoid arthritis she does notice a massive difference and she is almost zero like she tries to be almost zero carbs and so I do know that that's a real thing and it has made a huge difference in her life it has not made that difference in my life if it would I would absolutely tell you but okay I'm gonna go enjoy my very yummy cup of coffee so it's almost lunchtime and I am feeling pretty hungry. So I'm gonna have leftover from last night. I have a little bit of the um, chicken and gnocchi <laughs> um, leftover, but not a ton. But I do have some um, Brussels sprouts that I think I'm going to roast. Nobody in my family likes Brussels sprouts. So my husband buys me them periodically. Well, he buys them quite often, actually. And I think I'm going to roast them and then sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Oh, so yummy. One of my favorite things to drink, if I'm going to drink a soda, I don't normally, like if I'm in a restaurant, we normally order water with lemon. Look at my hair. Anyways, <laughs> at home, this is the only thing, that and diet root beer, I love root beer. But this is one of the ones that, this is a sparkling soda water and it's grapefruit citrus. And I think it's, so this is zero calories. It doesn't say diet on it, but it's the only thing it is. I mean, as far as they don't make a non-diet Fresca. It's made by Coca-Cola, It's less than 1% juice, concentrated grapefruit juice, potassium, aspartame is how it's sweetened. So, take it for what it is, obviously not clean, but mm, love this when oh, summer, when it's hot out, oh, yummy. Okay, I know, I know, I know, it's not the best, but it's good. It's good that this is gonna take a few minutes to cook because I'm not extremely hungry right now, so this will make me very hungry because it'll take time to cook. Put these in, they're so good. The key to making this crispy is a lot of olive oil. You're not gonna eat a lot of it, it's all gonna be in the pan, but you want it extremely coated. All the sides have to be coated really well. So I put garlic in there. Oh goodness, so good. I'm gonna use just a little bit, the red robin seasoning I love a lot, but I'm not gonna do a ton, just a tiny bit, only because I'm gonna be adding Parmesan cheese and Parmesan cheese is pretty salty. To me, what makes this so good, all the ones that are open, like it's cut side, that goes down to begin with, because the cut side is the part that's going to get the golden part and it's going to roast it better. And then I try to put it in the middle and then all these extra loose pieces, cause they're gonna get done pretty fast. I've tried to put amongst all the other ones instead of by themselves. 
So, and then make sure it's only one layer, not up on top of each other, except for the extra pieces. Yum. So I put the oven at 425 and I'm just gonna cook it till it looks done. I'll probably put a fork in it and see if it goes in pretty easily. And then I'm gonna take them out and add the cheese. Yum. Here's something else I've started doing. Normally what I would do is while that was baking, I would go ahead and eat like I have my leftovers. But the trouble with that is I want to eat more vegetables and I could eat that and get full and then not want my vegetables. I'd rather eat all the vegetables first and if I'm full, oh, if I'm full, I get full and then I don't eat the rest of my leftovers. But I feel like vegetables need to be first and foremost. So after the vegetables are done, I can fill up with my leftovers and I might eat them all or I might not. It depends on where I am in my fullness scale. Ooh, see the sizzle there? That's what you want. Okay, they just came out and that's what you want. Beautiful grilled. Oh, some of them are better than others, obviously. I don't know why, but they are. So I'm going to just turn them all over. You don't want the Brussels sprouts to be mushy, so don't cook them too long. And see how the middle ones aren't as much as the edges? Move things around so that those get cooked better. I wonder why that is. It must be this the heat source. Cannot wait to eat this. I could make my entire lunch this. How funny, some of these didn't get cooked very well. And right next to it, it did. I don't get it. I want to move these on the inside, these on the outside. Now I'm going to take the cheese. And I'm not doing a ton of cheese, just a little bit. But a little bit on each one. Maybe it is a ton of cheese. I don't know. It's just so yummy. Back in the oven. Oh, baby. Yum. All right, these are, I'm sorry, this is like perfection. I can't even tell you how excited I am over this. I'm not kidding you. Like this is more exciting to me than a piece of cake. Am I weird? Why am I overweight? You would think. <laughs> because I would eat this and have the piece of cake after. <laughs> to get all those little crispy pieces because they're the yummy pieces. So yeah, I put a hat on. I'm going to go for a short walk after I'm done eating here, but let's try these Brussels sprouts to see if they are as good as they look. Talk about crisp. Oh gosh, so good. Mm, yum. Okay, this is why I eat the vegetables first. So I finished off the Brussels sprouts. Absolutely worth the wait. And I was hungry, but I refrained from eating my other meal because look at how much is left over. Like a lot of the potatoes are left and some of the chicken is left. It was a chicken thigh and gnocchi. I'm full. And so I don't want to keep eating. It tastes good. But I don't want to keep eating because the goal is to stop when I am satisfied. So I'm stopping even though I have some left over. Now, if I really liked it enough and I thought I would eat it again, I would save this. But it, the gnocchi is getting kind of um, tough. So I don't want to warm it up again. It's not going to be good. So I'm, going, I'm okay with throwing the rest of this away. If I had a dog, I would give it to the dog. <laughs> so again, I'm just learning to listen to my body and to stop when I am satisfied. So now I'm going to go and just take a short walk before I get back to work. It could not be a more beautiful day out here. Look at the trees behind me. Just so pretty. I love fall 
where I live. <laughs>